What's going on everyone? Welcome back. I hope everybody's having a great day. Okay guys, we have another photo to rip apart. Now I found this photo, it almost looks like a gigapan, but it's on the Perseverance photos. Let me show you what it is. And it says right here, uh, Mars Perseverance Sol 16 left navigation camera or nav cam. And of course you can download it right here. It is a 1280 by 240 and you can see it's not as tall. And you can see the image was acquired on March 7th, 2021 or Sol 16th at the local mean solar time of 16.03 and 30 seconds. And of course, the image credit goes to NASA, JPL, Caltech. All right. Now, if we zoom into this, guys, what we got to do is just bring this in here. And you can see this little mound and you got this other hill. You might say, hmm, why does that look kind of familiar? It should, and I'm going to show you why right now. Let's jump back out of this. Go to here. This is the video I did on March 11th. Confirmed Perseverance rover was dropped in a debris field. And you can see the hill right here on the right-hand side in this frame. I'll go ahead and make it a little bit bigger. Actually, we can make it a lot bigger if you want to. Right there. Okay, you can see the mound right there. And I said there's some kind of weird crap going on over here. Now, this photo here was actually zoomed in or the rover was actually closer to these hills, buttes, whatever they want to call them. Of course, we know better than that. It's not just that. So they're going to cover up any little details I can. But what if it was a photo, like I just showed you on the site, that it was further away? Would they block out as many lines and anomalies? Maybe, maybe not. Now, you can see the hill there. Now, I showed you these little areas over here. And let's go to, I think it's about 820 on this. Uh, let me show you something here. Now, you guys will remember this. On this side, where... We didn't know what the heck these things were. You can see it right there. They look like platforms with something on them. What they are, we have no clue. Now keep this in mind when we analyze this photo, right? All right, so let's jump into Photoshop because I want to show you this. This is cool. All right, here's a photo and you can see it's a pullback view. It's not as close. So now will they take out the details or will they leave them in? Hmm, let's see. Okay, you can see it's a little bit less detail, but take note of I'm going to show you a couple of weird things here. There's one here. And we see them kind of weird details on that hill, right? Uh, we got something right here. I don't know if you can see it. It's very faint. And guys, get out your magnifiers and pause this anytime you want to. I'm seeing lines here. This is what I see too. Right on the right-hand side is I got some lines coming down like this. Okay. Look over here, guys. Remember before we had what looked like those platforms. Guess what? They're right there. Now, they're going to look a little different because one, it's either the camera again is zoomed away or it, the rover has backed up. So therefore, we're going to see it at a slightly different angle. So they might mesh in together a little bit more, but you'll see what I'm talking about. Because you can actually see what looks like right here at the very edge. You can see what looks like gray here in the front. And then whatever these things were on the top, right? which is pretty wild. Here's another thing I want you guys to notice. Notice how we see all these rocks. And we'll go with their rocks, right? Not all, of course. And I'm going to show you something real quick. But wait a minute. It's completely barren over in this section, almost in the middle here. Why is that? I want you to keep an eye on the little obvious things. And I'm going to show you this right here. I'm not sure what to make of this thing. Right here. Going up, over, and then back down. What do you guys suppose that is? Now, focus your eyes, not on what you can see, like this rock here, supposed rock, this rock here. Don't focus on that. What you want to focus on is the disrupted pixels, okay? Here, check this out. I'm just going to put an oval around this. Look at the ghosted out piece there. You can see it like this, right? It's very, very thin. It's actually thinner than that here, but it has what looks like a small circle. This is bigger then it appears. You can see what looks like straight lines under here. 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 We'll get into that a whole lot more in a second. Here's another thing that's kind of weird. A couple little small things. Way back here in the center. And again, pause it where you want. And I'm going to zoom into this too. Looks like some kind of weird little pipe sticking out right there. Right there. Yeah. Not saying that's what it is, but it has that kind of look. And it almost looks like it has a shadow right underneath it, right? Okay. A lot of crazy things in there. We're just going to jump right into this thing. Not going to make it too long. Let's get into 
getting some of the crap color off of this. We're going to check out the area over here in the back. Again, hmm, what's going on here? Where we saw these other things in the back here. Again, we're looking at a different angle and more further away, right? Right there. As well as these pieces right here. Now, you can see this actual piece right here, but it's very, very distorted. Let me show you that again. It was in uh, right around 508-ish, somewhere roughly around there, right? You can see where my cursor, I'm just kind of going around it. Again, there's rovers probably closer, so they're going to take out any details because obviously it'd be a lot more obvious if they moved in and you could see these things clearly. They don't want to do that. So it makes sense that they would uh, really, really go to town on this thing, right? Let's back out of that. Let's go check these out in the background. Again, we have what looks like this colored, like gray platform, and we have these weird things sitting on top of them. For all we know, it's plant life that's overgrown on platforms. We don't know what they are or what it is, right? Okay. This again on this hill looks a little different now right here. Check that out. So let's check out basically the background here. Let's, let's do this whole thing here. And I started to bring this out. Look at this. Okay. We can see what looks like these weird little archways or some kind of design here. I'm not really sure what to make of that. We got this piece, like I said, coming down like this. Almost looks like we got this other piece going here and coming down. You see that? Very smooth line right here. You can see that line right there. Let's move to the right. Check this out. I'm not sure what that is up there. No clue. But as you go along, you can see what looks like little spaces. It's almost like this, like, small hill or, or ridge. And it's like all of these, like, spaces or something that are in there. Like lookout holes or windows or whatever these may be, right? Here. This is the area where I had all the platforms, right? Just weird stuff here, right? Let's do a, a little bit of sharpening. Again, weird things. Guys, like I said before, I think the Perseverance has just dropped in another section, another part of Mars, that has ruins of an ancient civilization. Are they all ruins? Maybe not. It could be left behind structures, and it just looks very odd to us, but we have seen what looks like ruins as well, right? Okay, let's keep going with this. And you can see I'm just bringing in the lines. Again, right here, notable. These notable lines right here. Okay. And funny enough, come back out. You can see that right there is the two lines. Right? You can see this arch thing right here. These lines are there. It's not being put in. They're there. All I'm doing is bringing out the darker pieces and the lines and see what we can find in here. Right? That's all we're doing here. All right? We can shop it up a little bit more and bring out a little bit more of it. Just weird looking stuff here, guys. We have what looks like this white piece going across. Not sure what that is. Perfectly straight across. Now, I'm not saying Mother Nature couldn't do that. Because obviously, if you got water settled, let's say it was an old lake type thing. And it's now gone. Chances are you're going to see that nice straight edge where the water was up to, right? And met the land. It makes perfect sense to me. Now, that's even more sharpened. Right? Again, this area here. Now, let me back out a little bit. Because now I want to show you the foreground. This is interesting. Because, again, look carefully. There's nothing here. But then we can see what looks like parts of the end of said object or maybe objects. And, again, look at the things being hidden in here. You can see it right here. It's the distortion you can see, and you can actually bring these things out. Look at it carefully. You can see that. That's what you need to train your eyes on because they'll fool you every single time. Look at the way this ground looks. Come on. Now, even if this is a low res, I love the low res because you can see where they actually altered these photos. 
And that's what you want to see. People go, oh, there's a lot better pristine photo than this, man. And why are you looking at these uh, low res? Because it shows absolutely where they censored and manipulated these photos. Let's jump right into this thing. Again, look at this piece here as reference. Watch this. Now, let's back out of this. Whatever this thing is, it's laying right on the ground. And this piece here is almost like the front part of it. Look at the way this thing does this. Okay. Looks like it does this. Goes up. It appears to almost do this like it's wider on the back. Check out the lines to this stuff, guys. Now, this could be two things. These odd shapes. Looks like it does this here on the side. You can see something coming down. Now, either they're putting these lines over and then just putting a texture over. In other words, they could be blocking out an object they don't want you to see. So they're just outlining and then putting this texture in here, right? I don't believe that's the case. I believe this is the actual shape of this object. And again, there's that object we were looking at to begin with right here. Um, we've got these other pieces here. You can see where it's like this. There's something right here. I don't know if you guys can see that right there. Looks like some kind of strange piece. And I'll zoom into that in a moment. This going across like this. Look at these bottom pieces here as well, and all of this stuff in here. This is not just pieces of rock buried, and if you just see the tips of it sticking out. No, that's not it at all. These objects, whatever this thing may be, you can see that right here, is in the ground, and they don't want you to see it. They're literally hiding stuff that's in here. Now, it makes sense if we back out. When I said this, there was nothing here in this part of the land, look how perfect this thing fits in here. Now, is it part of ground where there was used to be like a foundation type thing? I mean, clearly it's intelligently made, or it appears to be. In my opinion, that's what it looks like. Again, we can see what it looks like. These pieces are coming straight out of here. I don't know what to make of this. I'm not sure, but it looks intelligently made to me. And I'm sure you guys will agree on that. Whatever these things are, and look at this. You notice how this thing stretched out, right? And it just happens to be right in that certain spot where there was nothing in this photo right here. Notice how it fits perfect in there. And this is the reason why when they did what they had to do to this to center it, it looks like there's nothing there. Same thing over here in this area. But we bring this stuff out. You can see what looks like these lines, these weird things laying on the ground. It, it just gets really bizarre, right? So, this is the full enhancement right here. And again, we got these weird things going on here. These shapes in here. And again, guys, I can go back and these shapes are actually here. You can see that one right here. The two lines coming down right here. All these different shapes. Right? Right? It's there. They're all in the photo. All I'm doing is just drag them out. Sometimes these things don't make any sense. You just don't know what they are. But if I had to guess, in my opinion, it's intelligently made. What they are, I don't know. Because again, guys, this thing can't be very big. We've seen the other photo where it looks like the rover's actually driven up closer to this. They don't appear very big. It looks like you can walk over there and actually touch these things with no problem whatsoever. So what gives, right? Look at these other lines in here. I didn't finish this right here, but you can see these other lines in here where there's something doing this. Okay. Guys, they literally blurred this stuff out. They didn't want you to see. Why don't you see this waviness and stuff like that right here? And there, here. Because this is pretty much the real deal here. This, no. This, absolutely not. Nope. No how. And again, we've got these ghost out items. You got to look past the colors. Look past the objects that are around it, meaning it could be just simple rocks. And I mean real rocks. You can see that. But once you bring out the lines, you start getting these weird things in here like this here. To me, no. Objects sitting right on the ground, right in front of the rover. And I got something I want to share with you guys. And I can't find the photo link yet. And I'm hoping I will before tomorrow's hangout because there's something... something because somebody found something on Twitter on one of these photos of Perseverance, and it basically proves that they're lying and doctoring and hiding and putting hills in places and taking them out of different photos. But I also found other crazy things that's right in front of the rover. 
So hopefully I can find the photos of this. Either way, if I don't, it doesn't matter. I'm going to go ahead and show it to you anyway because I found it very interesting. So there it is, guys, right there. Get rid of this right here. Pause this any way you want. Use your magnifiers. There it is. Let me get this other mountain in the back here. Supposed mountain right here. And have a look at these objects. Again, the more apt to leave in like little, little lines and stuff like that and little details because this is supposed to be way back and pull back. So they're thinking, well, as small as they are, you probably wouldn't notice them. But the foreground is what I noticed more too because this stuff is actually in it. All I do is burn it out and the lines came out. There's the lines. What is this? I have no clue. For all we know, it could be flat rocks. I don't think that's the case because in my opinion, I can see shapes of things that looks intelligently made here and it does not look like it's natural, right? Guys, what are we seeing here? I see things in here that look intelligently made. It looks like because the rover was pulled back, it looks like they left in some of the details and we were able to pull them out. Now, that prior video I had done, because it was closer, they're going to do what they can to hide it. So you can't see any of those details. So it kind of makes sense. But all those little platforms or whatever they were on the right-hand side is still in that photo. I know some of you guys will say, hey, have you seen like this particular anomaly in another photo? And we can get a better idea if it's actually there or it's not. Well, clearly we can see something's there. It looks like they're weird platform things or whatever they are with something on top, right? So it just proves these things are still there. I don't think they're very big. In my opinion, I don't believe that they are. Now, some of you have said, I believe they are bigger and that's fine too. We don't have a scale. So anybody's answers is correct or it could be all wrong. We don't know. Pure speculation, right? Anyway, guys, drop your comments, drop your thoughts below. Let me know what you think. And don't forget, guys, you can still jump on the Mars Anomalies over here, odyssey.com. You can see right here, we got 168 followers already. You guys are awesome. You jumped on board. It's basically like YouTube, right? Not many differences at all. Uh, a lot of you guys have already jumped on board. Anybody who hasn't, please do so. And again, I, I did this for a reason. One, we don't know if YouTube's going to keep messing with us. We have no idea. I'll just stop doing anything on YouTube if they get that bad about it. And I'll go ahead and start just uploading here and keeping these here and just leave the, the YouTube dormant. I don't care. Um, cause it's getting to the point where they're really messing with everybody. Right. And we don't want that. Uh, we don't want to like a lot of channels like mine. Nobody wants to be squeezed out. We're trying to bring this stuff out. It's a hobby of ours. It's a passion of ours. We're trying to get this stuff out to you folks. Right. So anyway, again, give me your thoughts. Let me know what you think. Like share as always. It's always appreciated. And guys, don't forget to give the video a thumbs up. So YouTube will share it. Hopefully. So with that, we got more Mars coming up and more moons, so stay tuned for that. Anyway, guys, have yourself a good evening, good night, and good morning, and we'll catch you soon. Peace, guys.